Hello guys and welcome back. Today I'm gonna talk about the difference between polyridom and polymeter. Let me start by taking polygrid. Actually, I'm gonna build a sequencer and I'll show you an example of polyridom now. So I've got gates to generate some nodes in a bar. Actually, we have four nodes, one per each bit in a bar now. Okay, let's make a copy of this and I'm changing the position of the envelope generator. And now we have two nodes per bar. But now I'm changing this value and we have three nodes a bar so that we have a polyridome. Let's add a delay. Basically, a polyridome is a combination of different readomes that we cannot divide by the same number. In this case, we have a binary readome against a triplet in a bar. Now, the first and the third oscillator are playing binary readome and the second oscillator is playing triplets. I'll put some effects. And now this is what we have. Now, let's make an example of polymeter. Actually, a polymeter is a combination of different time signatures. So, we can do this inside Polygrid, scaling the phase in different ways. We are going to use Scalar to create different time signature inside Polygrid. In this case, the phase module is producing a ramp in the time of a bar. Now I'm setting the rate to 4 and 1 to 5 for the ratio and what's actually happening is that we've got a 4 to 4 time signature from the output of the phase module and a 5 to 4 time signature from the scalar. So I'll connect the phase module with the first and the third oscillator and the scalar with the second oscillator. I'll put five steps in this case and five different pitches. And I've got a polymeter. Okay, now let's make this 5 to 4 pattern more interesting with a delay. Let's see what comes along after adding up this module. Let's check out this tune. Thank you for joining, I'll see you next time, bye!